hello, hello, my dear friends, my dear viewers, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. On the last episode, we did the first part of the quest to help our father get the parts of the sword, and unfortunately, before moving along with it, we have to go to the sword practice lesson. So, I guess we'll just... God save you, Henry! Ah, God save you as well. God, whatever your name is. So here we are with the sword hey, instructor. Do you want to learn something? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Well, let's go. Yes. How long is he? Alright, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Alright. So... I might as well follow you, I have nowhere else to go. I really wish I could wash my face. My face is dirty. And it's affecting my... My stats. Oh well. I'll follow you, sir. Ah, so you can walk by toggling the caps lock. Ah. Lovely day we're having, aren't we? Look at this game! Ah, oh, this is beautiful, I cannot wait. Let, let me see the map, I cannot wait to go and explore the map. This is massive. This is truly massive. Jesus Christ, sorry about that. Oop. Sheep! Oh, I'll run, come here. Ah, look at her, so cute. All right, he's still coming. Are we really going to practice sword sh swordsmanship right behind our my house and not expecting my parents to find about it? Well, I guess we are. So, can we get started? Please. We can. Good, and since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. <laughs> well, about that. <laughs> oh. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Okay. Oh. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Okay. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Okay. Yeah, very good. All right. Yeah. Nice. Now you're getting it. Good. All right. The okay, point so of I... the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Good. Once again. Good. Once again. Good, good. Let's try something else. Okay. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As I... soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. I think I'm trying to understand. Now you're getting it. Good. Ooh. My stamina is going to... Good. Once again. Okay. All right. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. Okay. So I think I'm trying to understand a little bit more the combat system and the little will that's on the middle of uh, of the screen. If I had if I had 
this practice before, I could have fared better against Kunesh. I'll get you one day. Or maybe not. Hello, Mum. There you are, Henry. Father's been asking for you. I just hope you've done everything he told you to. It's all taken care of, Mother. I'll go straight to him. All right, let's go. Let's go to our father, finish up that sword. I'm back. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Yes, sir. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Dan Divino. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. We'll fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. Yes, sir. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's, it's all just the same the friends. To me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts with you, so what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. That's a life lesson. Listen to your father, boy. Yet never know. Ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of 
Someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Indeed I will. Henry, are you all right? <laughs> I am. I'm a little dirty on the face, but... It's... It is but a scratch, fair lady. It is but a scratch. Okay, what's a bandage do? Item info. Strip of clean linen used to stop bleeding. Ah, that is going to be useful. We think one minute will help. Oh. All right. And this is the savior snaps. I'm going to take all of these, just so you know. <coughs> Here you go, Teresa. Have Here your nails. Those nails you wanted. Thanks. That will do. So how's go and get those damn um, nails. She's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my That way. will do. That Go and get those damn nails. Shut up, father. I got the nails. Jesus. Are ah, you sneaky bugger? Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time <laughs> for the trial by fire. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Ah, those days are gone, sir. Brexit. You haven't lost your skills, though. Boom. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isvan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. Mysterious backstory. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. I hope we get to learn more about it. I'm sure we will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure.
It's been an honor, Sir Istvan. Have a safe journey to Sapphire. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Fair point. Talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Nothing good, I'm sure. Ah, there goes the horn. Oh boy. Siggy, is that you? Or is it Wesenslas? It's six months. Charge! Here we go. Oh boy, Jesus Christ! Just dodge run, dodge run! Listen, now. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! And what about you? We'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Okay. Come on, that's overkill. Jesus Christ. Well, sir, you did. Come on, help! You can still make 
Come on, run, run. your sword sorry I'll be sure to give it back all right Whew. let's go holy hell quest started run get a horse oh Alright, maybe there's a horse around there. Don't touch me, or I'll kill you. Wait, what? Go to hell, you tatar beast! Hoppy chab of yes! Here I took your foot! No 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 no! No, okay. No. Ah! Okay. Uh. What? Okay. Whew. I'll figure it out eventually. Let's go. Okay. Whew. I saved Teresa. Let's go. Whew. Holy hell, didn't I have a sword? Oh, okay, I can't actually equip the sword. Yeah, I can't actually equip the sword. Or can I? Are they after me? Okay. Uh, let's ignore that. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. All right. I'll learn how to properly wield the wield the sword eventually. Hi to you too, rude. Bloody rude bastard. Gets to the left along the stream. All right. What is this over here? Oh. This. Oops. Ah! Ow. What the hell? Duh. Ow! Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go, let's run. Uh, oh, I'm in very critical condition. <laughs> Holy heck, can I look behind me? I don't think I can. Oh god. Oh god. Uh. Ah! <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Just go, go, go. Run for it. 
Holy heck. Yeah. Please. Ah. They get the gang. Holy heck. Oh, come on. We're we're good. I'm sure we're good. No, I don't think we're good. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> Holy cow, this is intense. Ah, oof. Jesus Christ. Well, he was an adventurer until he took an arrow to the knee. Janissaries, but the, the masks, they look kind of like, kind of like the Janissaries from the Ottoman Empire. At least the representation of Assassin's Creed Revelations. Go, go, go! Close the gate! Oof. Safe. And sound. Oof. <coughs> Someone give him a drink, and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tatars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. That hurts just thinking about that. Easy. All done. Yeah, sure. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? Do I have any other choice? Not really. There you go. As good as new. No. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, if you God. idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Dibbish. Can you manage? Yes, sir. Let's go. This is a very cutscene heavy episode. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but, but that's just how it is. Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robard. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. 
Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? Nope. I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. This game is beautiful, man. Jesus Christ. I can't stress this enough. It's a very beautiful game. We're approaching the mark here. So, okay. The game is saved. And I'm assuming... Okay, so yeah. It is safe here. I don't think I need to to save it further, so yeah, I'll stop here for now. I know we haven't done a lot, but um, we have we have advanced quite a bit in the story, but it was very cutscene heavy this episode. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye. Oh, oh god. What happened? Okay, we're good. We're good. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.